busted using grandmother's name as alias to hide dirty deeds. On Friday internet detective Kim.com dropped a huge bomb on Twitter. Kim disclosed an email Friday that outs Loretta Lynch for using an alias to make contact with Dodge officials. The Department of Justice cut loose hundreds of emails to the American Center for Law and Justice this week during the investigation of Obama's AG, Loretta Lynch, and her secret meeting with former President Bill Clinton. One emails blatantly Loretta Lynch hiding her identity from Department of Justice officials. Melanie Newman from the Department of Justice leaked it in the email. And, A.G. Lynch, Elizabeth Carlyle, then issued a response with a thanks to all who worked on this. Another message from May 29 to the Attorney General was sent to the Elizabeth Carlyle account. On Reddit, numerous users found out that Loretta used her grandmother's maiden name as her alias. The maiden name is Lizzie Carlyle. Loretta's grandmother's name is Lizzie Carlyle Harris. Loretta's mother's name is Laureen Harris Lynch. Below is a picture of her grandmother's death certificate. Kim.com requests that his subscribers discover much more on Lynch's alias Elizabeth Carlyle. It would seem that the deep state forgot to hide the reality that was in the emails they released to the ACLJ. The deep state is proving that they always behave like criminals. The fact that Lynch chose to use an alias shows that she knew what she was doing is wrong. The left is fighting so hard to commit crimes at every turn. Advertisement, what do you think of this shocking development? Should Lynch and the rest of her Dodge go to prison for the crimes they committed? Will you support Trump? Establishment Republicans make their move against Trump- Dash. So many people are against Trump because he is doing the job properly. Many are bashing him and are saying how he needs to be removed from his position. Sad is the fact that he is the only one who cares for this country and that there is no other person beside him that can be trusted. With conservatives like this one that I am going to tell you about who needs Democrats as their main enemy? Bill Kristol is one of those anti-Trump people who will do anything to take down the president. He is reportedly scheming to primary or oust President Donald Trump so Republicans do not re-nominate him in 2020. Crystal said he had begun informal conversations about creating a committee not to renominate the president. We need to take one shot at liberating the Republican Party from Trump, and conservatism from Trumpism, Crystal told, reports Breitbart. He took to Twitter to express his opinion and way back when the campaigns started, he was doing anything possible to undermine Trump and to get Clinton elected. He tried even to draft National Review's David French to be his never-Trump candidate. Crystal even worked with people to draft an even more uninspiring and milk-toast candidate in Evan McMullen. McMullen on the other hand, worked with apparently the smartest tacticians in the world to undermine Trump and to embarrass his campaign. As of May of 2017, McMullen's failed campaign that was used as a vehicle for operatives to get paychecks and never Trump pundits to get quoted in legacy media outlets and make television appearances, was nearly a whopping $700,000 in debt to the career political professionals whom Trump's success as a candidate threatened to put off business. If you are a true patriot the word conspiracy will not be even in your home dictionaries. Crystal forgets that with his behavior he is more Democrat than Republican. Also. He is forgetting that the people of this nation trust no other person but Trump because he proved a long time ago how he cares for the people. Busted Tucker Carlson exposes huge fraud in secret Obama program. At this point, we can all say that nothing positive happened during the Obama administration. Obama together with his administration ruled for eight years and basically left this country in ruins. All that thanks to the massive frauds and corruptions. Even after leaving, Obama did nothing but living and enjoying his life at the cost of U.S. taxpayers. Recently Tucker Carlson, from Fox News revealed another fraud that comes straight from the previous administration and this time it is proved how Obama has actually been spending much of the hard-earned taxpayer dollars reports cons nation. Tucker's words were, investigators say that getting bogus applications approved is ludicrously easy and as many as 36% of all beneficiaries from the program should have been rejected. 
he basically explained what happened in one program the Obama administration initiated. Basically, they were doing only something that they pleased and were unwilling to solve their own issues. The original program started way back in 1985 in order to aid the destitute families to be able to buy a family phone, if I remember quite right, it was called Lifeline. Obama used this program and made things worse. He took advantage of the program and enabled multiple phones for free. In the end, this costs the U.S. taxpayers millions in fraudulent charges. Before leaving office, the previous president extended the program once again to cover broadband internet service. Now, taxpayers are forced to give phones, phone service, and internet service to low-income Americans. Also, it is revealed now by the jail that nearly two-thirds of all Obama phone recipients receive their free government-issued phone service by falsifying their applications. This is something that we all expected. We should expect more cases like this one from the former administration in charge because after all, they were only good in doing frauds and corruptions. Just now. Ben Carson discovered who is responsible for $500 billion in government waste. Obama and his administration are responsible for this country's current condition. President Trump is doing anything possible to get everything in order once again and so far he is hiring the right people to help him. For example, he assigned Dr. Ben Carson as Secretary of Housing and Urban Development and considering the mess that Obama's administration did, this is not an easy job at all. Democrats in the past spent money on things that the American people didn't need. Actually, they spent so much that the people do not even know about. They worked against the American people for so long and this is why now, the American people choose a person who is qualified as an amazing leader. Someone who cares about them and works for them. At this point, Ben proved to all the haters that he is much more than a surgeon and his work is starting to show in a big way reports World Politicus. He in fact discovered something, a bookkeeping error to be precise, that everyone else in the Obama administration missed. This man discovered $520 billion worth of bookkeeping errors. If this would have been found sooner, we would have saved billions. Another proof of how the Obama administration worked against our citizens. Billions upon billions, if this would have been found sooner, we would have saved billions. Another proof of how the Obama administration worked against our citizens. Billions upon billions of taxpayer-funded dollars gone to waste year after year. All this is lost thanks to the Obama administration. This is major liberal fraud discovered by the same man that liberals hate on and tell how he is not qualified for it. Trump's policies are carried out in the most proper way. The Obama administration did not care about this issue because they thought they will still be in charge and will continue to put our country in even more debts. That is why they are now in big trouble. Thank God they are out of the White House. Amazing. George W. Bush breaks silence with amazing confession about President Trump. Ever since Donald Trump became President of the United States, he faced a lot of challenges. Although his administration is one of best administrations that America ever had, the liberals are using every opportunity to attack them. The liberals are spreading lies about Trump and his administration. This is sad because many American people believe in those lies. Also, the mainstream media is not really helping because they also attack the president and report fake stories about him. It's not easy being attacked every day by the liberals. However, Trump manages to do that. As World Politicus reports, the people do trust Trump and ignore the media's lies. But according to them the latest person who came out talking about this successful administration is George Bush. Although Bush stayed out of the public eye since he left the office, he decided to talk with Matt Lauer of NBC about President Trump and he wasn't afraid to share his opinion. Although he's been silent for a long period. He broke the silence and stood behind Trump's back for the first time. World Politicus quotes him, When I was president, you, the major networks, mattered a lot more, because there were, like, three of you. And now there are all kinds of information being bombarded out. People can say things anonymously, and it is just a different world. 
Bush is not a fan of how the media treats Trump. We also do not like how the media doesn't show any respect to our president. However, no matter what happens in the future, the president will, however, Trump will continue to make our country a better place for everyone. He has proved that by his achievements since he took the office. It doesn't matter if you hate him or love him, he's one of the best leaders that our country ever had. Barack Obama in front of the world as Jeff Foxworthy calls him out, Internet goes crazy. Stand-up comedian Jeff Foxworthy is a true patriot who is tired of how liberals are trying to destroy America. Former President Barack Obama changed America into a society where people don't work hard nor they want to. As a result, Foxworthy wrote his opinion on Facebook about the former president and the condition that our country is in. If you can get arrested for hunting or fishing without a license, but not for entering and remaining in the country illegally, you might live in a nation that was founded by geniuses but is run by idiots. If you have to get your parents' permission to go on a field trip or to take an aspirin in school, but not to get an abortion, you might live in a nation that was founded by geniuses but is run by idiots. If you must show your identification to board an airplane, cash a check, buy liquor, or check out a library book and rent a video, but not to vote for who runs the government, you might live in a nation that was founded by geniuses but is run by idiots. If the government wants to prevent stable, law-abiding citizens from owning gun magazines that hold more than 10 rounds, but gives 20 F-16 fighter jets to the crazy new leaders in Egypt, you might live in a nation that was founded by geniuses but is run by idiots. If, in the nation's largest city, you can buy two 16-ounce sodas, but not one 24-ounce soda, because 24 ounces of a sugary drink might make you fat, you might live in a nation that was founded by geniuses but is run by idiots. If an 80-year-old woman who is confined to a wheelchair or a 3-year-old girl can be strip searched by the TSA at the airport, but a woman in a burqa or a hijab is only subject to having her neck and head searched, you might live in a nation that was founded by geniuses but is run by idiots. If your government believes that the best way to eradicate trillions of dollars of debt is to spend trillions more, you might live in a nation that was founded by geniuses but is run by idiots. Although these comments will make you laugh, it is sad that America has fallen this far. Our country was founded by geniuses but run by idiots. However, our country got a new real leader who will make America great again.